Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Breakfast Show Money Talk with Smart Robbie. I'm your host, Martin Wong. Now, last night, again, Dow had a very interesting night. All the US news that you all watched, Dow went higher and then came back down. And that's why our market care of CI hitting 1600 yesterday or two days ago really doesn't really matter. It's the importance of the market having a follow through. Isn't that correct, right? Now, if you like what I'm saying in here and you think the information is good, please share in your timeline so more people can benefit from the news that we have for you in here. Now, also don't forget, those of you who are listening for the first time, uh, do type one so I do know you're listening for the first time. And thank you very much for your support for all this while and we couldn't really do it without all of you and the kind sharing that you have in your timeline and to many friends that you recommended our smart Roby to be installed with it. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we really appreciate that and for all your support that we have so far. Today, we will have a great show for you. Shall we get started? All right. Now, the first story for today, right, is no other than CPO. Isn't it right? We all know, right, when you drive out from uh, Klang Valley, whether you go to the south or to the north, there is plenty of palm oil. I think the first impression most foreigners will tell you when they arrive in KLIA, all they see is palm oil. So no doubt, that's why they always say this theme, you know, they always call it a deforestation and you see a couple of orang utan, you know, being shot at. And that's why, you know, the CPO always get into the limelight. But no doubt about it, you and me and our economy really rely on CPO prices. Now, this is uh, in a way can be said as a uh, good news because the CPO prices as well as the stock power, there is a relationship between them and the news which is covered by Star Business today talk about the analysts predicting the news between 2000 to 2005. So that is definitely a good thing for the CPO price. But most of you who are investors in plantation stocks or those of you who are SCPO trader in our classes, one thing you would have observed that the stock power it's tied to the FCPO and they tend to have an inverse relationship, eh? meaning supply and demand. Eh? If there are more stockpile, there are more inventory, prices drop up. That's that's for sure, isn't it? All right. So that is the thing. Now, they also, in the same story, analysts eh, are looking for somewhere in between uh, what we call a 14% average growth. All right. Average growth in here and uh, and a 7.4 percent increase in output all right so that's what we feel that it is great so uh with the fcpo prices in here now the next story also falls with it is from the rise of the cpo prices we will see plantation stock now how many of you have plantation stocks if you have plantation stock just type inside there uh cpo huh just let me know if you have plantation prices just type cpo zone at least i would know you have some plantation stocks for that one so the good news with the rise, you know, with the CPO prices, then we will see uh, Sam Darby, United Plantation, Kim Long, sorry, that's spelled with a double O, uh, with a rather single, and many of these uh, stock prices will recover, that be for sure. So we've seen a, a good relationship in there. So just take note of it. Those of you who have CPO prices do want to sell higher, right? And then you want to move on to something that is more, uh, you know, more energetic, like the rubber glove, or maybe the technology, maybe not so much rubber glove. Huh? Rubber glove now got vaccine coming up, but we'll, we'll talk about that on the next. Uh, story in here okay so that's uh what we have seen so far all right let's move on to the same story in here and it talks about the dependent on china and india you know we used to have uh, eu but eu already gone out from the picture because they are protesting based on what i just mentioned about the deforestation the orang utan and but one thing we have seen india and china is their own country inventory usage of CPO prices, uh, uh, CPO has drawn down to. So they're going to be ordering soon. So we will see this price going higher in the coming uh, period. All right. Now, uh, the next story revolve around what we all look at it every day and what's uh, the money talk story is all about is the KLCI 1600 point level, uh, which is the resistant level in here. So the good news is this rise to this new high in the last six months it's in tandem with regional. It's just not a one-off thing. Of course, many of you are saying, and there's a lot of discussion going on in Facebook and also in the space, is that many of the retail, uh, driven. This, this market is driven by retail. 
actually is the same in Singapore, in Philippines, in Thailand, in region, and also in United States too. So it's all driven retail. So you may ask, you know, where's the money coming from? Of course, in Malaysia, we did touch on that part driven by the uh, lowering of the fixed deposit where people, we, we seen yesterday, right? We talked about the story where many people uh, still have almost a 40 to 50% of their savings still pretty much in fixed deposits some have it in good dividend stocks and it, it varies a bit in here right so the story also driven that the current market are driven by the rubber glove maker right we, we that's the next story we're going to talk about it just just hold on right we'll talk about supermax plus a little bit of foreign fund which is you know coming in we, we are seeing that coming in and that's that's very good and also the rise in the global cases every day when you turn on uh, the, the the tv okay you'll see the global cases rises and you will also see uh, 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 rubber prices going higher. And that, that's always been this. Now, if you look at this morning in here on the right hand side of the chart, let me just show you here. Okay, as so I move it now, uh, last count, the market, okay, let me switch on to his, is doing 1640. 1642 uh, minus four point. At one point, the market will try to establish a support in here. Let's look at the chart. All right? I'm going to show you the chart here. So let me blow it up. Now you can see we have the green Pentagon came out just uh, early July, right? And you can see that and it came out and that was a good, a very nice, what we call a pullback. And right now the market is breaking new high. So today we'll see a bit of absorption. It's going to be you know shrinking a bit. And this is something we teach in our VSA volume spread analysis. So when you combine the trade VSA and understanding the language of the market, you are at least 90% ahead of everybody else. And don't forget, we are one of the provider on VSA volume spread. Uh, many people try to imitate what we do, but we are the more of the VSA spokesperson in this region in here. Now, if you look at the chart, that's definitely telling you very good in the market breaking up 5th of July and tend to go higher, right? So let's move on to our next story, right? So our next story will focus again uh, on the market. Now, yesterday, I think a day before, there was talk about BUSA and as well as SE coming out with the, what we call a circuit breaker. Especially those of you who are first time in the market, you may not know what is a circuit breaker. Now, circuit breaker are usually used to prevent major downfall where the market just plummet due to what? Panic, isn't it, right? There's a lot of people panicking, especially now, you know, people are trying very difficult to make a living and, you know, they are saying that, hey, you know, maybe possibility stock market as a additional income and they pour a lot of their savings in there and what the local authority can do is to come out with this card they call a circuit breaker. So the news which was on Star Business talk about the circuit breaker, but let me just sum it up for you in here so you don't have to read news. As I said before, Breakfast Show Money Talk with Smart Robbie is where I do the reading and you do the listening. I also want to listen more some of the feedback that you guys have and do share of course this video if you find the information is good. So they are revising the circuit breaker in there and you know providing a safety net you know in, as we have seen so many of the rubber glove has moved so much more and uh, you know and finally they, they're going to revise it to two level where there is a circuit breaker where the price will be hopped and will be stopped for a certain period, certain time at minus 10 and minus 15%. Of course, there are more details on that. You can just go over to the BUSA website or you just type circuit breaker uh, for BUSA. You can read all about it. But just bear in mind, try not to invest in those you know, very highly volatile stock. Then you'll be fine. I think yesterday we did talk about a very slow moving stock paying dividend, which is concept uh, rated at 7. Maybe you want to take a look at that one, right? Okay. Now, let's also look at the next um, the story that we have is TaxCam, one of those very volatile stocks that we have. Maybe just, let me just bring up TaxCam here for you. Okay, and you will see TaxCam. Right, let's look at the stock. And we hit the stock chart here. Right. Now, some of you may say, you know, wait, the price rise up so much. How come Trade VSA hasn't turned green yet? Now, Trade VSA is very smart and intelligent. Every time when they see this kind of what we call parabolic, okay, parabolic rises, 
it is designed to not give any Pentagon signal because we find that this is a lot based on distribution. Now we can see tax scam has rise more than 38% the last two days. Huh? And he got what they call UMA. <laughs> That's right, always get UMA. Huh? UMA stand for unusual movement activity and normally busa will query and then you know the 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 local company will say oh yo, we don't know don't know what's going on or so all right so this one is where a lot of the retail kena corner the stock or they push up and they will distribute a lot of this uma uma data sonic also kena before but it's not good like normally when you get uma you know uh, usually when they start to query and uh, you know there was no abrupt move uh, there was no reason for it, why it should move so why and, and but you don't get any uma rubber glove isn't it right why? Because there is a story and which we're going to go on to the next one. But why I bring up this story is because the case of a parabolic rise. Now, anytime when you see parabolic rise like you see, and parabolic rise is a very good one, you can go over to a Tesla T. SLA, you can see that stock also went parabolic, and uh, you know, uh, of course, parabolic for Tesla means that the EV is growing, but parabolic for tax scam. Now, take a look at tax scam. Okay, if you see, let me just switch over in here. You will see that tax scam. If you look at the stock fundamentals, right, it hasn't really, you know, uh, turned positive yet in terms of revenue you can see the roe uh is uh minus six percent in here that's why it's you know it's rated very lowly uh low uh low you can't you can't compute okay in here you can look at what what do tax cam do okay let's take a look at it oh just take a look at that it's always good when you want to buy something make an effort to just sort of go in and check out the the co company is this the one that do the uh sushi king one uh? i'm not sure uh, because there's one uh, got food uh. yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the Sushi King one uh. This is the Sushi King one uh. Tax camp Yeah, this Japanese fella Yeah, yeah, that's right Last time they used to make money, you know For uh, Fumi Hiko or Tan Sri Wow, a lot of Tan Sri around, man oh, I say this one uh. Next time uh, Any of you Tan Sri listening uh, Do text inside there Just type TS uh. Oh, just kidding Just kidding, okay <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be very happy A few of you Those of you are wrestling uh, are Tan Sri too So you can see here uh, Tax camp It's the one that You know, you, they do a lot of things But yet they're you know, losing money They got polymers Right uh, You know, one thing can get them out uh, Tax camp very simple here. Yeah. Just go to rubber glove <laughs> <laughs> You've agreed, all right? They just say that oh, tax scam. Hey, maybe oh, Uma, isn't it right? They might be going to uh, to rubber. Who knows? You look at it. They already look at this fellas all inside there. They're wearing all the rubber gloves, isn't it? So this Uma has merits. Okay. So wait, wait for a pullback. And, and again, uh, all this speculation. Uh, uh, we, we really don't know. You know, judging from it, this uh, Tan Sri Japanese guy, pretty smart fella. They just need to, you know, get one of the, the Japanese engineer come in and they, they come up with a Japanese standard rubber glove. Poo, tax, you know, tax scam is going to go up. What do you think? Do I say why this makes sense or not? Because a lot of these things are all pure speculation. The best we could do is just read the chart and then later on the news is going to come out. Some of you agree, just type in tax scam and maybe we'll continue on uh, to another section. But this is a good stock. And that's why sometimes I take notice a lot of this little small Uma here and there. All right. So let's keep this aside. And if tax scam were to come out the next following week or so, we will also cow it. So we want to make this very interesting, very good show where you learn about the market. So the money will talk to you through Roby. All right. So let's look at the uh, the next story that we have, right? It's no other than uh, Dayang Material. Now, again, why I bring up Dayang Material, this was again cow by Star Business because they did something, uh, they, they sold one of their sales proceeds, which is usually PN17. Now, PN17 is one of those companies like Asia, okay. <laughs> Asia, not PM17 yet, but very close. It's where you get the liability more than asset. They, they run out of not enough working capital. There's a couple of things you can find out PM17. Just type PM17 status, BUSA, you'll find a lot of the details. But let me just sort of give you a, a scenario. What is this? It's PM17. They got one year, 12 months to you know get the business up, submit a report, say, hey, hey, it's like you, you're going to school. Like It's like your children. Huh? Your children not doing well. And of course, your children... Uh, is assuming they're mature. Like they say, okay, your result not so good. Please give me 12 months. What is your plan to get back from uh, uh, getting an F grade to maybe getting a, a, a C or D grade? That's what basically what I want to talk about. Now, if you notice here, Dayang was uh, oil and gas. So oil and gas, you get into trouble. And like it or not, it have to be a very super efficient. When the margins are tight, you have to be super efficient else you get into trouble. It's only when the margins are big and when it's booming, right? You become less efficient, you still can survive. But here, oil and gas has 
price sensors have dropped and being not efficient and that's why they get into trouble and they've been in PM17 since 2018 so you can see why uh, at this point in here but then again if they do come back from PN17 back like what we saw for uh, uh, Kuantan Flamu, also called Lotus. You see the stock price move, isn't it? Let's take a look at what I just say. I haven't really, really checked the uh, uh, Lotus. You know, not the, the not the the, the Te Tare one, uh, the Lotus Indian store. Uh. This one is a Lotus KFM. Okay, let's look at it. Yeah. Yep, okay. They, they came out from PN17 previously, right? So I believe the widespread bar that you see here on the right hand side, okay? The widespread bar and the white, that was the day where they got out from PM17. So this is similar to a usually what we say, you know, if the company ready to come out from PM17, let's say two weeks from now, the stock will jalan. Once on good news, what do you do? On good news, what do you do? You sell. That's right, you sell. All right. So great, great. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Raj, for the news in here. No problem. Okay. That's my job to read those news to you. Okay. So let's move on to the next story they have for you in here. So the least you could do, Raj, share in your timeline. All right. Then let's go on to the next story that we have for you in here. Is no other than the most solid bank in Malaysia. That's right. Even more solid than Maybank. Huh? Sorry. Huh? Now, public bank uh, led by another Tan Sri. A lot Tan Sri. Uh, Dato. Uh, uh, Alec, yes, I got his name, Terran. Now, this was covered in the HCO Bloomer. Talks about, you know, the difficult times in COVID-19. All banks will face. Uh. So, the first thing that came out was the non-performing loans, uh, NLP, non-performing loans. But they are, they, are, they are making some provision with that. So, no problem. Everything all can count him, uh, can handle it. But the story, what I want to say is the more important is the comparison and this was done very good by the HCO. So I just want to bring up and highlight to you those are looking to invest for a longer term. Huh? For a longer term when the banks come back. Bank will take some time to come back. Because remember, we, we talk about it. There's still one more interest rate cut in September. After that interest rate cut next year, 2021 bank will come back so still a long time now yet yeah, right so right now you want to change the sector so i tell investors uh, it's important that you study this uh, sector analysis and a lot of these are covered by my colleague which is also my senior trainer zach so make sure you check it at 9 30 p.m every night uh, except when they say the night where i'll be talking the special topics on which i have something for you very special on wednesday night so make a date with me on uh, 9 30 tomorrow that's right tomorrow and i'll give you what i'll be talking about so the story also goes into uh, talking about public bank, Maybank, CIMB bank. Of course, Maybank is uh, considered to be a second, sort of just not slightly below uh, public bank and public bank uh, uh, is just one of the best price over book value because it's, it's very efficient this these fellas are very efficient you know run by a very chinaman style kind of uh, uh, management in here so you can see in terms of roe uh they are above 10 percent you got bmib most, most of them are really dipping below the 10 percent it's very difficult uh, ladies and gentlemen because of the interest rate they make money from the spread isn't it how much they borrow and how much uh they borrow and how much people deposit that that's that's all they they, they, they make that's what going towards negative risk it's going to be really a, 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 a challenge for them in here all right so the story talk about they're making the provision and more importantly public bank has committed a target in the same news article in here a 10 percent of roe so that's why you see this is the only guy who's making more than 10 percent return on your equity and they pay out a dividend now let's look at public bank for what it is okay pbb okay and we hit that one so you can see let's look at the stock fundamental in here public bank at one point it drops down to 17 dollars huh? 17 dollars the ratings was about four robbie give it a four ratings right now because the price has rise back to if you can see here to excuse me to uh previous closing of 1852 okay 1852 so public like now is overvalued right so robbie is very smart one when it's overvalued the price it go but previously when the market fell to around 16 dollars uh, 1690 at one point someone told me they even fucking low was about 1550 how many do you think was went down to 1550 or below 16 dollars if you think it went down just type public bank 16 i haven't checked the stock, stock, stock price hey we can check it here let's check it in here and we'll hit the uh, public bank here right oh there you go you can see public bank rise yeah it did went down below 15 dollars let me just show you here yeah i was right it did went down to 15 dollars when we below 15 dollars roby actually rated a four ratings 
That's why I tell people, right? If you are the slow type, you know, when you see a rating of a four, really deep down in there, that's the one you buy. And as a matter of fact, one of our member, uh, Dr. Derek, is saying that, you know, he's selling all his rubber glove and is moving those stock rating with at least have four and five rating. I think that's a very good, good strategy. I have never really uh, tried that method yet because sometimes I tend to buy something more expensive because I'm riding on the longer term. But having said that, that's something some of you could explore this strategy by uh, FA rating of Robby at four and using the trade VSA as a chart to time remember the green and red so right now you can see uh, public bank is no longer cheap because it's moving up it's you know it's not undervalued it's still rated a three you still get a well, the dividend let's take a look at the dividend okay shall we okay public bank the reason I want to spend about this because many of our readers are actually you know more like you know want something slower public bank the kind of thing so right now we can see it still pays a 4% dividend, okay? 4% dividend and they have committed thanks to uh, uh, the CEO, uh, uh, Tan Sri Te Alek and we are getting a 4% dividend. All right, let's move on to our next story, shall we? Okay, our next story is Supermax. That's a long waiting. Now, Supermax, you know, they have like, you know, Supermax is becoming like a Superman, you know? Let's take a look at Supermax, huh? Why you all know about Superman, isn't it? Right? Superman come near a fly, right? Up, up, and away. <laughs> That's right. So you look at Supermax, the chart has gone up. But why this story had a very upturn is because one of the banks, uh, analysts has put this, you know, the, the stock price is going to hit 1740, a target price of 1740. And you can see, you know, how much ever since they turned the green pentagon. Now, you're just following the green pentagon. Uh, you can still make money in early July if that could be one of the strategies that you use, you know, just go in and the green pentagon and up, up and away, right? I, I think today should be profit taking, lah, huh? let me see. Let's look at Supermax, right? I haven't checked it yet. Uh, wow, still up, oh, $7. Uh, now, very interesting, right? The news talk about the target price at seventeen ten. Right now, it's seventeen fifty. <laughs> <laughs> right it's gone bananas i tell you that this is what we call parabolic and do take note uh, uh, if you want to trade switch to a uh, hourly chart don't trade the daily chart let's switch to hourly chart or you want to trade trade the put and call warrant which is a bit more volatile but your most important is focus on risk okay focus on it. the thing can turn and also you know like analysts like to play around with this huh? so kasuka they say asp like here uh the asp every selling price they felt that has a chance to go up by 30 to 40 50 percent and that's why it go up okay let's move on quickly and uh, let's move on to our next story uh which is uh, those of you who want to know more information, I did did a talk on the uh, on the rubber sector, rubber max. So you can check it out in our YouTube or click subscribe. Okay, click subscribe on our YouTube. You can see this is just sort of give you a background what we are talking about and uh, and also that's a QR code you can take and watch it. Especially those of you who are new first time and don't know what we're talking about here, just watch this one. Or you can go over to YouTube and find out more. Okay, let's move on to next story. In here is no other than our premium alert. That's right now. Our premium alert yesterday, uh, which is Monday, the 13th of July, we picked Omisti and SLP. They hasn't really moved yet. And also today, it's a bit of, you know, slowing down, pausing before the big move going forward in here. Okay, so let's look at what are the stocks I picked for you uh, on the premium alert. Now, yesterday, I picked, uh, okay, not this one here. Here, the premium alert. Okay, premium alert. Yes, premium alert was Nissin. Right, Nissin. I picked Nissin for you in here. Yes, I think Nissin was up here, but there will be another one coming out. Ah, there, there you go. Okay, so Nissin was a one seven two one five, uh, which is consumer product. No, what they, do they do? You just check it out. Ah, huh? they make all the cooking pot, ah, all the pan pan one. You know the the like I don't know whether they make for uh, Tefan or not. Okay, so we can look at the stock fundamentals in here. Okay, I'm very really we check the stock fundamental is still loss making. Okay, but this one is a, one of those goring counters. Lah. People like to goring, no thing. And you look at in here, they make a lot of these steel craft, uh, Wonder Chef Japan, and water filter. You can read all about it, yet still cannot make money. Lah, so don't know why. Lah. Have to do, I have to dig a bit deeper to find out more. Okay, so having said this, is more of a, 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 a penny stock in the big move. Let's take a look at the stock price, right? The chart formation, okay, up 4%. Hit the trading view. Now, those of you who want to know how to buy this, uh, want to know the uh, trade setup, if you're first time, if you have not joined any of our 
courses right you want to have a simple way to look at the trade setup the chart go to the next slide i have for you here where i will give you those rules okay you can see here this is a nice one right the trade you have a spring you have the railway track very very beautiful it's something that we teach in our master class those of you who want to take it to the next level we do have our august intake uh, coming in here and it comes with a free receipt the whole year which means you pay one price you attend all the whole all the whole year so that's one great benefit unlike many other providers that's what we do we want to give you the right skill and you are already learning every day from our uh, morning uh, breakfast show money talk with smart robbie so okay this is nissin we'll take a look let's look at the next uh so i'll wrote down nissin so tomorrow we're going to review back and uh, let's take a look at the uh, premium alert for another stocks if we can find one oh kawan food ocean cash complete glotech the noise tech nissin and uh, nissin is there and meridian now i like kawan food Right, because I had a chat with one of my customers, and uh, he has a little bit of you know common food make roti canai, you know, <laughs> you know all those little small small balls that you go to your mama store one. Uh, some of them actually make, but of course not all uh, Some of them like uh, kawan food, or you can go down to the supermarket. Okay, let's look at kawan food. I, I think it's one of those fundamental stocks, right? Uh unfortunately the PE is really expensive, which as you can see here, forty-seven times. So that's why it has a zero rating. Okay, because very expensive. And you look at it, the ROE is only five percent. Now remember, early on, public bank talk about committing to ten percent, isn't it? This guy is only five. So, but it pays a one percent in here. So it's a bit overvalued. But let's look at the stock price. Okay, and. Uh, Okay, Kawan Food starting to move up. That's nice. Okay, so we like Kawan Food, right? Because of the chart formation in here. Remember, a lot of the time when we do our premium alert, they tend to be, there is no fundamental to it, right? So what I'm trying to address, those of you who like fundamental one, they're not going to move. So, but if you like fast action, intraday, you know, those kind of thing, premium alert is the one that, because you don't want to look at the fundamental. Or you can scan through every morning and you pick some of the stocks that have some fundamental, then you buy, no? No fundamental you don't buy because I know many of you have limited budget or capital to trade that. All right. So do take note of this is what you do. All right. So let's move on to the next story that I have. Okay. Now, don't forget this that you see here. Okay. 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 My now, the next story that we have for you. All right. Is this slide here. All right. Which actually has a QR code. I think I've been flashing this again. We have all the trading rules and all the smart uh, uh, charts you can look at. So go and check out this uh, video and you'll be fine in knowing all the rules. If not, do take a look at our the other option, which is our masterclass. All right, the next thing is tomorrow. Make an event with me tomorrow will be Revenue Bahad. That's right, 360 degree view tomorrow night, 9.30. I will talk about revenue and it's a lot of very exciting and interesting insights okay I'll, I'll try i'll try to give you a good presentation as i do like many of the youtube that i've done also don't forget this coming saturday will be our total trading system and volume spread analysis now to register for this event what you need to do is join if you have not done so our 4000 telegram followers in there right there will be a registration sent out very soon and not to be missed by any of our local update and tradings and important update so that's all i have for all of you in here thank you for your time i really appreciate sorry i took longer than i should and because i just want to keep it compact and more things will be covered by uh, my senior trainer zach tonight at uh, 9 30 so make sure you catch him tonight 9 30 p.m just after your dinner and be updated so that's all i have i'll see you tomorrow again bye